Starting in center for the Orioles, number 68, Chad Thorson. At one guard, number 77, Tim Smith. At the other guard, number 51, Charles Austin. At one tackle, number 55, Mark Pieta. At the other tackle, number 75, Peter Anthony. Stop 
that play up. Anthony was there, so was Tim Smith. And the will be forced Anthony. to punt. And Ipkevitz came up fast, too, on the outside, and they're obviously just going to take that, trying to take that outside. Dan mentioned that uh, we're going to try to keep them on the inside, and the guys are just coming up the field real fast. Meisner is into the lineup now. He'll be back to uh, receive this punt for a first down. Now double uh, wide outs to the right side. Meisner calls out the signals that he'll give it away to Laird. He's got the blocker. He's in the clear. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. The 5. Touchdown, Oreo. 55 yard run by John Laird. And again, great blocking on the left side. Outstanding blocking. And I think the corner from his key. And that's over in the play a little bit. Laird cut inside him. There was just nobody there. And the problem right there, seven. They can't stop the run. They got everybody with them five yards in the line of scrimmage trying to stop that run. So once you, you know, beat that initial tackler, there's just nobody there. James Lloyd will be in to attempt the point after. He's perfect two out of two in the game. Ludington's lead at 20 to six. They forgot the tee. They here. forgot to bring the tee out there. Now Meisner's going to set the tee down. Good snap from center. Lloyd will get it away. It's up plenty high. It is good. James Lloyd, three out of three from extra point territory. The lead goes to 20. Lloyd will swim it again. Ball on its side at the 40-yard line. Bouncing ball up the middle. It's deflected. It's low. And there's going to be a scramble for it. Who's there's got it? Scramble. I thought the one Heights guy did a real nice job of coming up, and it looked like you know he tried to fall on, but now whether he ended up with it be another question. Well, we'll wait and see. Ludington's got it. Ludington recovered, and I didn't get the number. Who recovered it at the bottom of the pile? Yeah, uh, just Ball get up here to get the pile. Catch him. I got that. Six to go in the second quarter. Twenty-one to six. Ludington leads it. Jones will give it away there, and they try to go wide, and nice tackle by number 80, that is Christopher Thalman, and he came through, and he stuffs up that play from his nose guard position, or well, any time alignment, but especially if a nose guard gets in there that quick, he, he, he read the play, but he also just how quick the center was able to get it. 24 yards on it. Jones heads to the right. He's going to be hit and drop. Tried to run the option play there. Well and the Orioles keeper. did that one. Defense nicely. Fonaspec was there for the defensive end spot. Ipkevich came up from the corner to help out. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Arrows are for it. They'll throw it out there. And that's the lateral. That's the lateral. And he can, can pick it up and score it. And James Lloyd is going to pick it up. And he's going to score it. James
formation again. They're going to pitch it back out there to Heim, and he gets the corner. He's got a first down, puts it up the field, and now he goes inside the 25 yard line. 24, Joel Heim, a 5'10 junior, and he's got enough for a first down. So he got to play quite a bit that second half against the puck against Reese Buffer last week, and, and he showed us some quick feet. I know we, we talked about that and stuff. I know we took it down and go. And Laird, oh, Meisner's going to keep it. He's going to go in for the first down. Nice fake there by Nathan Meisner. He just faked it and kept it around the left end. A four-yard touchdown run, and the Oriole lead goes to 34-6. to six. From center, this one's up, and it's good again. Boy, it looked like the rush was on that time. How did I not block that one? We'll take it, 35, high formation, Meister pitches it out to Heim, Heim will turn the corner, he's at the 40, he cuts in, he's at the 50, he's at the 45, and now he goes to the 42 yard line, and a big run right off the bat here in the third quarter by Joel Heim. In Ludington. Team goes on a he's long a count. Heim is the tailback, and he's going to get the pitch around the left side. He's got some blockers. He's going to go down to around the 10-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds. And another nice piece of running by the junior, Joel Heim. On Roy Moss. Quick count. Meisner throws it over the middle. Touchdown. Touchdown. They make it to the line, and Meisner right on the number to find the back, and the lead goes to 41 to 6. A 10 yard touchdown pass. He came away from the line, you know, free. Just an easy toss and catch. Wait till the ball is snapped. That's the second down play for the height. Jones back to throw. Rushes on, and Jones is going to go down. And coming up is Forsett to make the tackle in the backfield. A big loss. Nice play there by 68 Chant Forsen, a 6'1, 230 pound senior here. This way. Should be a lot of people there. Hopefully, it'll be a beautiful Saturday afternoon. High formation. Dante Jones back to throw. Throws it out there, and it's going to be incomplete. Rush was on by Tim Smith. Incomplete That's incomplete. That's incomplete. It'll bring up a fourth down play. Yeah, give Smith credit. The rush was on from the outside, but he kept his hands up in the passing lane and made that a tough pass. 41 to 6. Meisner will pitch it out to Heim. He tries to go around the right side. He's got some blockers. He's in the clear. It's going to be a foot race. He's going to be it's all down at the 30. Heim. Joel Heim with a nice run around the right end. Mitchell Boy, he had a the host tackle. of blockers there, and I thought for sure he was going to go. I thought that five yard line. But high formation for the Orioles, uh, completely dominating this football game. Meisner will pitch it out to Noah Laird. He turns the corner, and he's going to be pulled down inside the 15 yard line. We haven't had a chance to mention uh, anybody listening in the cheap seats tonight. We haven't seen any lights going on and off. And there's a lot of them there. Harvey, we'll 14, the 14 yard line, first down Orioles. Nathan Meisner calling out the signals that he's going to give it away to Strauss, and Strauss bounces off one, another, and into the end zone he goes. Mike Strauss, Mike Strauss a 14-yard touchdown run, and we're going to have a flag in the end zone, and I think we might have excessive celebration right there. Yeah, he was pretty happy. He was starting to raise his hand when he got to the five-yard line, and... Uh, you could be right. Yeah, that's what they did. Boyd's going to try to point after, which turned point. out to be a 24 yard field goal. That's blocked. Wow. <laughs> well, one, two, three, four, Man, four, four right guys block. in there right now to uh, block that point after. Game, 9 16 to go. Clock in on the move, and the Oreo lead at 47 to 6. Just picked up a. a, a Heights will send a man in motion. Jones has it, and he goes back to throw. Rushes on. Jones will get it away, and it's going to be intercepted by Chad Thurston, and he returns it to the 20-yard line. Intercepted for the I mean, a great, great move to the ball by Thurston, but what more blocking on that offensive line. He went back, and he, folks, he didn't have a chance. Touch it down, and that'll do it. Steve Chip Wong, game time is 6.30. The varsity will have a... Coming off... Uh, 
that uh, loss last week to Puffer, but, you know, Joe, you mentioned it, I mentioned it last week, the effort was really there. I, I thought it was a much improved Lennington team last week, despite getting beat 41-6. to six. Yeah, they moved the ball well on the ground last week, and it carried over to this week. They ended up with 334 yards on the ground. That's a lot. They just played well. They didn't have any, any penalties. They didn't. I can't remember. Next Thursday, that is a ninth nice grade game, game also and against they went by a score of 47 to 6. That's it for Oreo football. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We have the post game show on the way no for you shortly. Again, the final game. score here tonight: Ludington 47 Just and Muskegon Heights 6 tonight. And you can see all that hard work that your team puts forth in practice paid off tonight after getting uh, shellacked three games in a row. You guys were ready for a win tonight. Yeah, the kids have been. Uh, been keyed up all week. Uh, you know, we, we try to tell the kids uh, that not to get caught up in all the homecoming stuff. And, uh, try to stay focused on the football game, and we really did a nice job tonight. Uh, Discipline-wise, we had a couple of uh, stupid penalties that we need to work on in practice. Uh, but overall, we had a pretty mistake-free game. You know, we gave up one touchdown early against uh, against the Tigers, and uh, besides that, we played very well. You, you, you look at your sustained drives. First series, seven plays, 58 yards. Uh, later, you went 65 yards and 10 plays, and 72 yards and seven plays, and that's what it takes to win, and that's what it, you had to do against the Heights because you want to keep the ball away from their explosive offense. Right. Yeah. Um, we're real happy with the way things happened tonight. Uh, you know, no, no, Laird ran the ball very nicely for us, and uh, uh, Joe Hyatt really uh, is a nice surprise. And we always knew that he could run. Uh, he's had a problem with uh, ball carrying, uh, handling the ball, and he really showed true tonight. And we're going to start using him quite a bit more. He's got some nice outside speed. And, uh, you know, we look at it. Coach Mount uh, told me during the game is uh, we're running the ball outside against a very fast team. And, uh, you know, even last week against Reese Puffer, we ran the ball well on outside against them, too. Talking about um, yeah, we're happy with the way things happened. And I, I think last week in, uh, in the second half against Reese Puffer, all of a sudden it was like the line got a lot of confidence and the backs got a lot more confidence, too. And that, and that's, and that set up this game tonight. Yeah, it really did. You know, I told you before the game that we really had a good week of practice. And, you know, we really have had good weeks of practice all year. Uh, just we haven't been able to put things together. And tonight we finally uh, put a few drives together. And uh, that line really starts smelling the end zone. And, uh, you know, this team can win. And that's what we have to sell these kids is that we can win. And all you got to do is be disciplined and play football. And things will take care of themselves after that point. Defense tonight did a nice job of containing the Muskegon Heights. Uh, they didn't get outside on you once. Even when they scored the 70-yard touchdown run, it started inside before it went outside. I thought the defense really played well. Yeah, we really worked hard this week on our outside play, uh, keeping contained, uh, keeping the, you know, making sure the cornerbacks came up and forced everything back inside so the flow would catch that. And, uh, you know, it, it just happened tonight that uh, we, the corners came up, forced things back inside. Our ends played well. Uh, Bonus Beck and uh, Timmy Smith played very well. Cutter played some defensive end, and they really forced Jim. things back inside. Uh, they stayed Smith home. Very well, uh, the Muskegon Heights likes to try to do counters and pitches and uh, reverses, and uh, those defensive ends played well. Well, next week, uh, a Friday night off. Uh, next Saturday, it'll be Manistee at uh, Sabre Stadium on a Saturday afternoon, and that might be Manistee's homecoming, and, and they're going to be tough. Two years ago, they, they beat us pretty good in Manistee. We got even with them last year here, and, and uh, that will be one whale of a football game yeah. as the football rivalry is back. We can't yeah. get a Manistee. Yeah, we're looking for a war right now. Uh, that's what we're looking at next weekend. Uh, we're telling the kids that this send a message to Manistee, and uh, we hope that um, that they're thinking about us right now, and I know they've been thinking about us all year. They came up to our scrimmage in early August and watched the scrimmage. So they're definitely worried about us, and it's definitely one they want, but uh, we want a little more. Well, an outstanding performance tonight, and you have uh, you have perfect right to go celebrate this big win on homecoming 47-6, yeah. to six, and we'll be talking to you come next uh, next Saturday, Dan. Good okay. job tonight. Thanks, Dan.